Hello everyone and welcome back to this uh, DCS SK60 uh, feature showcase video series. I'm Redmaker from Boss Dynamics and in this video we're going to take a look at using the weapons. We're going to start up by uh, using the uh, rockets and then we're going to use the uh, ACAN, the Akan uh, gun pod. Uh, as you might see we have some rockets loaded up here. We have two uh, 14.5 centimeter uh, anti anti tank rockets, high explosive anti tank, and we have two 13.5 centimeters high explosive uh, rockets. Uh, the green ones on the outer pylons are used for heavier targets, and the one with the metallic tip are from uh, are for using on uh, lighter armored targets. Today we have a mix of both, and we're going to be attacking. Uh, a fuel tank, uh, basically, uh, just to show how they work. Uh, before we take off, though, I'm going to go through some theory. So have a look at that, and then we'll be right back. So let's go over the theory of how to uh, do an attack run in the SK-60. Uh, and like I've said before, I'm no pro at this. Uh, I'm just going to try and relay the information that I have got. And this is how you do it. So down here on the right, we have our aircraft. It's flying in this direction. Our target is over here. And what you do? Well, you fly full power, uh, or you fly at the speed you're supposed to fly here. But just before the pop-up, you apply full throttle. And here's the pop-up point. Uh, you're going to make sure you are wings level. You're going to climb roughly 20 to 25 degrees and pull three to four Gs. When you have uh, popped up, you should have the target at roughly 45 degrees at the, at the specified angle. You need to locate your target. Uh, you do it visually in this aircraft. When you do that, you start the roll in. And that's going to occur roughly around here. You release pressure on the stick and you roll straight to your target. Uh, when you have your target in front of you, you uh, pull the gun sight towards the target. And so you, are, you will start to point the, noise, uh, the nose to the target. Uh, you should try to put the target on the upper left corner of your gun sight. Because if you do that and then do the rollout to get wings level, you should have the target uh, pretty much bang on in the uh, gun sight reticle. And that's where you want it. Uh, when you've done that, you should be at this point. And we go to the next slide. This is the run-in. I don't know if it's called that, uh, but that's what we're going to call it uh, now. When you're at that point, you should check your course that you are plus minus 10 degrees uh, towards the target. And that's going to be done in the briefing. You make sure what, what course do you need to fly to hit the target from the direction you're supposed to hit it. Uh, shake your dive angle. It's supposed to be 5 to, uh, that's a typo, it's supposed to be 5 to 10 degrees uh, dive. Uh, that's, of course, going to, that might need to be a bit uh, varied depending on terrain and so on, but aim for 5 to 10 degrees. Uh, and you dive into the target and you start aiming. Uh, now, when you aim, don't use the rudder because that's not going to give you a good uh, steady aim. Uh, make sure the aim is steady and calm so that you don't miss your rockets or your uh, gun uh, ammo. When you're ready to fire, uh, you turn the safety off. That's not yet implemented in our model, but it's going to be. It's a little uh, lever on the uh, the, uh, the flight stick. Uh, just like in the Vigan, you flip that one open and you are ready to fire. And the firing distance is supposed to be roughly 1100 meters. Uh, so that's going to be done in the planning and or if you're doing like a target of opportunity situation, you need to gauge that uh, visually. Uh, you go in and when you're at the firing point, you uh, fire, release your weapons and hopefully you will hit your target. Uh, when you've fired and you're done firing, put the safety on before exiting. That's because you don't want to accidentally fire something where it's not supposed to be fired. Uh, when that's done, 
pull 5 G's to get the nose over the horizon and you just keep flying straight until the nose is above the horizon. As soon as it's above the horizon you turn away from your target and if it's a hot environment where the enemy is hostile and might be firing back fly as low and fast away from there as you can. That's the theory behind uh, how you use the weapons in the SK-60 and now we're going to hop back in the cockpit and do a demonstration. So, see you back in the cockpit. So, welcome back to the uh, cockpit. Uh, as you might see, we have no gun side loaded currently, it's actually back there under the little yellow uh, cover. And it's sitting on top of a box. It's a quite hard to see but in reality that box is used to determine how the guns will be fired and so on it's set by the ground crew before you take off uh, but we have a workaround uh, it's a little bit buggy at the moment but we're working on it and if we don't get it to work properly we might have an alternative solution also but currently you press a few buttons to open up a menu to set the weapons and just to show you the controls we're going to be using this one, trigger on screen menu, and this one, menu enter. Uh, and what happens is you press the was first one, trigger on screen menu, and this little menu pops up. If this uh, cursor doesn't move, it's relative to your head movement. If it doesn't move, that means a bug have occurred and you might need to just despawn from your aircraft and uh, spawn in again with the same aircraft and it should work. You have some uh, alternatives here, uh, they are not all working currently, but some of them are, and we're going to go to the ground crew first, and then you press the other button, to the menu enter. And we have some more options, and we are going to install the gun sight, so you just look up until you get a check mark on that one, and press enter again. And there you have it, we have the gun sight installed, it's in front of us here, uh, let's switch seat and have a look at it from the side. Uh, that's how it looks. It's a very basic gun sight. Uh, it's no HUD or anything. It just shows a reticle for aiming and firing the guns and the rockets. Uh, we also want to configure the uh, rockets, how they're going to fire. So we go back to the menu and we go to weapons settings down here and press enter. And then you see we have the pairs mode, we have the single mode and the all mode. Single mode is going to fire one rocket per uh, per, per trigger push and the pairs mode is going to fire two rockets and the all mode is going to fire all rockets in a sequence uh, tonight today we want to fire them all so we go to all mode and press it and there we go uh, the weapons are configured the gun side is installed uh, the only thing left we need to do is to press this little switch here bevapning till it's the master arm we flip that switch up and the gun sight should have turned on. Yes, we can see the little reticle here. Uh, in the real aircraft, this is gyro stabilized. So if you pull many Gs, it's going to move around. We are trying to get that working. Uh, currently, it's just uh, stationary, but it gets the work done still. Uh, yes, we are all set for takeoff. We are here in the South Atlantic map. It looks a bit like north of Sweden. So we will try it out today. We just need to put the uh, uh, the gear lights to take off and we take the flaps down one notch and we are ready to go so on brakes and off we go and we rotate gear up up. And just like I said during the takeoff and landing video, I'm no by no means a pro at this, so bear with me and please be forgiving if I mess up. This is mainly just to showcase the weapon functionality. So we're heading out here a little bit. Doesn't seem to be working. We're going to turn left head into that bay over there. Zoom out a bit. Uh, 
and when using the SQ-60 keep in mind that it's a light attack aircraft it's not supposed to blow everything up uh, someone explained it as uh, think of the mission the SQ-60 does as uh, long-range artillery basically so you might attack a convoy or a small compound or something like that uh, you can also use it as a recon aircraft uh, but if you need to blow up bigger targets then maybe use the Vigan or something in that line uh, but nevertheless this aircraft is a very fun aircraft to fly it's small and it's nimble and it can get in and out quick and do its thing so it's by no means uh, useless Here we go, we're closing in on our pop-up point. We're aiming for this island over here. And not yet, this is the island over to the left. And our target is going to be over there on our right side. Okay, so we pop up, look for our target, and it's on that little outcropping over there, there we see them, so this was the sloppy pop out. Might have popped up a bit early actually, but let's roll in, pull our gun sight to the target, and roll out and there we go we're inbound and these are not the most accurate rockets therefore we fire them all and hope that one of them hits so fire and turn And at least two tanks were destroyed. Let's turn back in and have a look at the mess we made. There we go, two tanks destroyed. Nice, uh, that's how you use the rockets. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, uh, very fun to use. And as you might see, uh, we don't have many rockets. If we use just the high explosive ones, not the anti-tank ones, we can uh, we can carry 12 rockets. If we uh, mount the anti-tank ones, uh, the heavy rockets, we can use six uh, because they are bigger, so they can't be uh, double mounted. Uh, and as you might have seen, if we do a mix like we did today, we can use eight rockets. Um, so yeah, you need to be wise, uh, choose your weapons according to what target you're going to be attacking and fly in, fly low, uh, do a pop-up, uh, attack the targets and get out of there quick and let the, the big boys do the heavy lifting. So we're going to head back to our base and rearm, we're going to mount some gun pods and I'm going to show you how to use them. The uh, the way you attack, the way you fire, it's it's uh, pretty similar. You fly low, you pop up and you dive in and fire your guns. Uh, so yeah, let's show you how the guns work. So we are back at the airfield. We have mounted the gun pods and as you can see they are pretty big. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look from the outside, they're almost as big as the wings and uh, quite heavy, <coughs> so be careful when flying with them, but they are very, very, very fun to use. Uh, we have already installed the gun sight and flipped the master arm to on, so we are ready to take off and we're going to fly and attack the same targets. So on brakes, full power, release brakes. And rotate. 
Airborne. Gear up. And flaps up. Zoom in on our GPS here. There's no map data yet for this map, but we have our route. So let's turn left here. Like I said earlier, the way you use the gun pods is pretty similar. You fly low, you pop up, and you dive in, and you press the trigger. So let's do some low flying here. Which is a bit scary, I'm used to VR, so judging height is a bit uh, unusual for me, flying on a screen like this. So we're entering the bay here. Flying low. And there to our left is the island where we do the pop up. We're actually going to do the pop up a bit later this time. our targets so we roll in and pull the gun side in and there we go in hot zoom in a bit so you can see this clear and just like the rockets, these gun pods aren't super accurate, so just place the gun sight roughly where you want it and press and hold the trigger. And we break off. Live it out, shake it out. Yeah, that's good hits. That's how you use the gun pods in the SK60. Uh, and these are basically the weapons you're going to be uh, having available in uh, this mod. Uh, there will be the high explosive uh, anti infantry, basically, rockets, uh, soft targets, and the high explosive anti tank rockets. The bigger ones and these uh, gun pods. We're also going to implement the uh, smaller 12.5 centimeter uh, practice rockets, which have has a smoke charge. Uh, but yeah, those are the weapons. This is a light, light attack aircraft and a trainer, so it doesn't have many weapons, but it's very fun to fly, uh, especially if you are like a group of two or three or four and do some quick attack runs uh, like the one we just did uh, yeah so that's the weapons basically we have uh, some other features we have the GPS unit down here as you might have noticed uh, it's 
not 100% uh, feature complete. Uh, it has some functionality. Uh, we're going to show you how to use that when it's a little bit more ready. Uh, you have the flight instruments. Um, someday we might make a tutorial on how to read all of those also. Uh, we have the radio, it's working. It's a bit uh, finicky sometimes, but it's working. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.